The most lucrative concert tour in music history lands in the UK on Friday when Taylor Swift plays the first of three nights at Edinburgh's Murrayfield Stadium. The star will take to the stage shortly after 7 p.m. BST, playing to almost 73,000 fans who've come from all over the world to see her career-spanning three-hour show. It will be the first of 17 UK dates, culminating in a record-breaking eight-night run at London's Wembley Stadium. By then, she'll have played to almost 1.2 million UK fans with an average ticket price of £206. Swift arrives in Scotland as the biggest musical phenomenon of her era, achieving a cultural weight not seen since the heyday of Madonna and Michael Jackson in the 1980s. With all the excitement, it's easy to forget that the last time she played in the UK on 2018's Reputation Tour, stadiums failed to sell out. According to one report, the opening night in Manchester had 18,000 empty seats. So what's changed? For pandemic-era albums, Folklore and Evermore were a significant turning point. With the subtle indie folk arrangements winning over critics and fans who had previously been unimpressed by her country and pop hits, the rise of TikTok introduced her to a new audience, while the ongoing project of re-recording her first six albums rejuvenated her older hits. Fellow pop star Ray says she's just one of those rare, timeless artists who gets it right every time. She's an absolute powerhouse. Lana Del Rey, who had a duet with Swift on the 2022 song Snow on the Beach has another theory about the star's dominance. The singer told BBC News, She wants it. She's told me so many times that she wants it more than anyone. And how amazing. She's getting exactly what she wants. She's driven, and I think it's really paid off. For fans, it's the personal connection that makes Swift so special. They hear themselves in her lyrics as she navigates love, illness, treacherous friendships, and finding your place in the world. Swift is highly aware that her relatability is her USP. In concert, she continually uses pronouns like we and us when she addresses the crowd. And every tour stop gets two unique songs tailored to the local crowd during the star's acoustic set. In Scotland, fans are already theorizing she'll play Guilty as Sin as it references local band The Blue Nile. Unlike Beyonce and Madonna's recent tours, where the driving thesis seemed to be cast your eyes upon these divine beings in whose presence you must bow down, the Eras tour is more like a celebration saying, hey you guys, we did it together. Thank you